What is up, YouTube world? I'm Ashley D. Before I get started, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Also, feel free to share this video as well. Everything I state is allegedly not a guaranteed fact, my own personal opinion and observation. So, before I get started, I would like to say thanks to each and every one of you out there for being so supportive and uplifting. I also would like to send a special shout out to the people yesterday that left me a cash app. Thank you so much, as well as the people that request for me to leave my cash app. It's going to be down at the bottom in the comment section, as well as my name is dollar sign A-S-H-L-E-E-Y-D-D. Thank you so much for showing that extra love and support, you guys. I appreciate that. So with that being said, I'm going to shout out Pamela Baker as well as Eleanor Burks. And last but not least, I cannot forget about the lovely Miss Angela Gibson. Thanks you all for everything you did and you do. And most importantly, thank you for yesterday for showing that extra love and support on the cash apps. That means a lot to me. Now I'm going to continue on and say that yesterday was pretty funny. We had Miss Lyonya who claims the day before she denounced all her minions and claimed that she has nothing to do with what goes on behind the scene or them antagonizing her still husband. She has nothing to do with that. But yet, Sage in the City, shout out to you. You have put out video after video yesterday. Please check her out on Miss Lyonya saying she controlled and she leads and tells them exactly what to do. So, like, shout out to Sweet Ma, the lovely Miss Beautiful, Sweet Ma. She brought up a good point. Miss Lyonya had the nerve to say she don't do something and turn around in the next minute and does it. She contradicts herself all the time. Like, for example, she said yesterday she doesn't have anything to do with that. But then she comes on Nasty Nate better known as Amora's Live yesterday, and goes in on her brother-in-law. Why do you have all this energy towards him? And why all of a sudden you are allegedly homophobic, but you're dealing with someone who's confused on who they are? Make that make sense. You are an influencer, and your sister-in-law had to be the one to tell you, get off of the live, you're doing too much. But the people that are older than you, that's supposed to be helping you. What's allowing you to get on the live and make a fool of yourself. Say things that as a content creator, as an influencer, should not have ever came out of your mouth. Not to mention, why are you so against your brother-in-law? Everyone on that panel, you guys, it felt like he was boxed in. If you want to see it for yourself, go to Reddit the Craft. Read it beyond the craft with Reddit. I'm sorry. She had the whole live going yesterday, not to mention she played the video over. These women feel as though a man should not voice their own opinion. And it was weird to me coming, <clears throat> excuse me. It was weird for me coming from Nasty Nate, who's allegedly happily married, okay? She's happily married, but when Mr. Kevin was on the panel defending his brother, as he should. This is his biological brother. You tell him to stay out it, stay out of it in the same sentence while you're defending Miss Lyonia. So we have three to four women up there bashing him, scolding him like he's some type of kid, telling him to stop raising his voice because he's a man. And stay out of this public relationship that Lyonia made publicly these accusations and he should not defend his brother but yet it's okay for these complete strangers that you've only known less than a year to be okay defending you bashing people putting out false information talking about kids but yet when we as content creator point out things that you should be doing for your kids we're not bashing those kids we always say those kids are well-behaved kids those kids deserve better than what you give them. That's what we say. And that's only being real. That's not bashing any kids. We all have kids. We love our kids. Not to mention, you 
go above and beyond for Mr. Ed. You prepared a, I don't know what it was, what you call it. It looked like some Alfredo with some undercooked broccoli. And I forgot who said it, but Doritos crumbled up on the top. It looked like bacon bits to me at first, but then it seemed a little red. Not to mention, sweet ma, once again, she pointed out you served it on a little tea plate. I wouldn't even put it on a plate that small for my daughter. You have no skills to be a wife. I don't see how you managed to be one for six years. Not to mention catering to your man. I'm not going to knock anyone who doesn't have it, but in my household, we have trays. So when I'm serving you, if you come over here or I go over your house or wherever I am, most of the time, the people I deal with, they have trays in their home. So I'm going to not only bring your tray, your food on a tray so I can bring your pop, your napkin as well, your silverware, but... I will not serve you on a little bitty plate. And then that meal should have had garlic bread with it. And they wonder and say we critique everything she does, but she makes it so easy for us to do it. And it's not us dragging on her or however you guys want to put it, bullying. It's us speaking facts and speaking the right things. And most importantly, having our own opinion because that's our right. You guys have your own opinion about how robbers should be. And like I was getting ready to say earlier, Amora, better known as Nasty Nate, had an opinion on how Mr. Kevin should be. He needs to lower his voice. When your man speaks, I don't know who else feels this way, but in the Bible, your man is the head of the household. So when this man was speaking and stating his peace and his freedom of speech that he has, every woman should have been quiet. They should not have been bashing, antagonizing, coming at him, asking him a question, then not allowing him to finish the sentence. Make that make sense. They went in on this man for hours, and I was so proud that he held his own. Shout out to you, Mr. Kevin. Shout out to you for defending your brother when you know the truth. They call themselves trying to make peace all of a sudden when Mr. LaTruth wants to speak out. When Mr. LaTruth has had enough... Now Miss Lyona wants to come forward. And she has the nerve to put this video on her, not only Facebook, but her Instagram. Her serving this man. And then like always, he's over the top. Like, like smiling, like he's so happy about it. No man that's getting food served from their woman and it's done naturally, something we do, is going to be over the top smiling and acting like that. He's always overacting with her. We can see it. And the people that are around her, they can see that too. They're just trying to encourage this to go on so they have a reason to have content. And they want to claim that we're making money out for you. But yet they put up their cash apps as well. Not to mention they're on live for way more hours at a time talking about this. At least when we do, we have something to talk about and we all come together. They don't have anything to talk about. They go from one subject to the next. One minute they're defending Miss Lyon, the next minute they're praying. Like, make it make sense. I encourage anyone out there to pray. I always try to spread positivity. But at the same time, I'm Ashley D. I'm just saying. I'm going to always tell it like it is. And most importantly, try to keep it real with everyone. That's an important thing. That's what we need in life. We don't need yes men. We need people that are real with us. That's going to encourage us. That's going to try to be uplifting. Not feed our minds with negativity and toxic things. It's mighty funny that Nate, a married woman that's been married for years, that's happily married, that's older, that has grandkids and children, would encourage Miss Lyonia, someone that she claims she cares about. To continue with this bad behavior, not to mention commit adultery. How can your so-called friend or super fan or whatever you want to call it has the nerve to encourage you as a married woman to continue to live in sin? Continue to do this foolishness and nonsense online without pulling you aside as an older caring woman 
since you obviously does not have any role models in your life. No positive older figures that can tell you this is wrong. And what I believe, though, if you do have those type of people, you cut them off. Because you clearly been running through a lot of friends this year. Or what happened to the women in the beginning that told you you should leave your marriage in your series, your little episode that you was gathered around. And you guys were toasting because you took her advice. And she actually laughed about it because she was shocked that it seems as though she don't deal with you like that. And you took her advice and ran with it. Well, you should have ran to God or you should have ran to a real therapist since you claim allegedly Mr. Kevin isn't one. But it's so funny that Nasty Nate wanted to call everyone up on her panel and try to be a therapist. Make it make sense. You claim Mr. Kevin doesn't have the qualifications to try to save you and Mr. Latruth's marriage. But at the same time, it's okay for her to call Mr. Latruth's siblings up there to try to reach some type of mutual ground and call Mr. Kevin up there so they can continue bashing him. No one Miss Lyonia, and I mean no one has your best interests at heart, but it's too bad you're blind, blinded by grief and envy and hatred in your heart for someone that you were supposed to love for better or worse. You can't turn that on and just off if it wasn't always there. You always envied this man. That's why when he was singing, you tried to become a singer. That's why you guys did that little singing skit. Not to mention, all of a sudden, Mr. Ed, when he was on his live and he was supposed to see Green all day the next day, but he was on red, he claimed that this wasn't his thing that he does. He's not a TikToker. He's not an Instagram person or a Facebook. He's an actor. That's his M.O. You did all these things for him. He doesn't control that. That's not what he does. But yet, yeah, he's constantly posting every day. He posted a video today on TikTok. He's sitting around not doing anything. And when he does post Miss Lyonia, you're not on there. He didn't even post that dried up food you put on there. Not today, but yet, yeah, you want to repeat and post that because you have nothing else to post. You have nothing interesting going on with your life besides allegedly the things that you pay for, the things that you go to to look like you're booked and busy. But when you're not, what kind of content you really have to put out besides you doing something with Mr. Ed, besides us speaking up about the things that we feel like you need to change and correct. Not to mention, shout out to this page. I saw something on there and it really bothered me. Because it was red flags about this situation as a parent to me personally. Purge reactions. Please check that out. They don't always put out content in regard to Miss Leonia. But I ran across that today. Excuse me. And it was very disturbing. First of all, they showed a scene with her oldest daughter. And her baby girl sitting at the nail salon. And her older daughter is smiling, looking into the camera. And her youngest daughter is just being, you know, a toddler, looking around, not looking up, too much paying attention. She's getting her nails done. And the first name she says, like always, is her baby girl. And her oldest daughter is looking up, smiling into the camera, waiting on her to acknowledge her, to say her name, to say something to her. And just like always, she's filming, but her whole focus is on that baby girl. And it's all to prove a point and to antagonize her ex-husband, her soon-to-be ex-husband. And the sad part is her oldest child is suffering because of that. Her oldest daughter is the one who's being left behind, but yet does the most work and is the most helpfulest to her when it comes to her youngest daughter. That's the sad fact and true. She wanted to go out of her way, which this was another scene on this page. It was a brief video, but at the same time, it was sad. It also showed them on vacation for her birthday when her oldest daughter coughed and she said, ew, don't cough on me. Instead of her saying, are you okay? I don't know if she was choking on something or she swallowed and went down the wrong way, but she coughed. 
any mother will right away instead of saying, yo, don't cough on me. They will react to that in a concerning way. And she did not do that. Not to mention when her youngest daughter was running around and I try not to say names, but she was running around and right before that, not even a minute. She was on camera, Miss Lyonia, saying, and you guys say, I don't have my kids with me. I have my kids with me on my birthday. Shortly after that, her baby girl was running around, and she was trying to get her, keep up with her. And then she said, how did you get loose from her oldest daughter? She named her. How did you get loose from her? She's just running around. You're bringing your kids with you on your birthday. That's fine. But yet, like always, we see your older daughter, having that responsibility. And if she's carrying that responsibility, Miss Lyonia, guess what? You really, you really don't have them with you on your birthday. You brought them there and your oldest daughter is taking care of her while you record all day, while you zoom in and off of them on the camera to prove a point to your viewers such as ourselves. Because the people that are following you they are following you down the path of destruction, allegedly. How can you not give your oldest daughter, even on Mother's Day, that scene is on there as well, recognition or a hug after she brought you a gift, after you read the card? How can you not right away show these type of feelings for your kids, but you go all out of your way and above and beyond? To buy Mr. Ed's love, affection, to be all over him, to force a kiss on him, allegedly. But you have these beautiful lives that's around you, that's waiting and looking into the camera when we see them, when they do something, to get your approval, to get that extra love and affection from you when they do something right, or they do what you tell them to do. And they do it the right way. Every single time you fail and you miss those red flags. You miss those special moments as a mother or a father. That we immediately catch up on. We caught that. She wants a hug. She's doing something sweet. She gets a hug right after that. Or he gets a hug right after that. That's how it goes, Miss Lyonya. Especially on Mother's Day. When they're presenting something to you, I don't care if it was a piece of paper with a crayon that's colored on that paper. I love you. You're the best. Your kids deserve more of you than any man. That's not even your husband. But we all know you're doing this to prove something to your husband. When at the end of the day, like I've always stated, the only thing you should be trying to prove something to is those kids that deserve the most of you. And not to mention, the funniest part out of all of this was you dragged your people the day before yesterday. You threw them under the bus. If nobody knows what that means, that means she allowed them to fall. She didn't pick them up. She didn't back them up. She blamed everything on them and took no responsibility for her actions. When it came to all the Facebook bashing, all the alleged bullying, all the fake pages that people have made, bashing her ex, bashing, obsessing over sweet ma. And I feel so bad for her because it's like you guys can't go on live without mentioning her. It's one thing us content creators we're doing this page, we're doing certain stories or doing our channel and we're doing a video keeping up with what's going on like we've been doing. That's one thing. But it's another thing to continue to bash someone you do not personally know. Put their address and, and you didn't put the exact numbers, but you put the house. You talked about her beautiful baby. And you put her name out there. How dare you? Not to mention, you go on live. And there's so many other people that are reporting on this. But yet, you bring her name up. 
Shame on you. That lady does not think about you like that. And she has done nothing to you, Nate. Absolutely nothing. And the second you go on live and you have our attention, you want to drag, try to drag her because you really can't because she's beautiful if you ask me. And shout out to her once again. And I hope she continues to put her videos up as well as her cash out because that takes time putting out the type of content that she does. And we all appreciate that. So I hope going forward, she does put her cash app up so she could get some love shown because she's a genuinely sweet person. And for them to kind of zoom in on her, not even kind of, for them to always try to go in on her and take low jabs. At the end of the day, we all see her light and her beauty. And you guys see that as well. And you think you're going to darken her light just so you can brighten Miss Lyonia's. But we got a news flash for you. Her bulb will never go out. That is the light of God. That is the light of love and peace. That is the realness in her and the genuineness that you guys know nothing about. Absolutely. Because you guys been fake from day one as well as faking to make it with Miss Lyonia. I appreciate each and every one of you taking time out to listen to my video today. I thought it was going to be brief, but <laughs> it's not. I just wanted to touch on this situation as well as shout out sweet mom because she's been going through a lot with people constantly bullying her. Now that's called bullying. What we're saying, we're stating facts. We're reacting to her videos. That's what content creators do. But we're not bullying. It's a difference. And if it, she felt like it was bullying, why does she correct those things that we speak on? Exactly. Now, for you, Nate, to be defending her going so hard, she had to make it up to you guys. It was only right that since she dragged you guys the day before and threw you under the bus, that she went on a Morris Live. She went on Nasty Nate Live and went in on her brother-in-law. Now, make this make sense. If she does not deal with them like that, like she claimed allegedly, she don't talk to them like that allegedly, why would she go on Nasty Nate's live and go off on her brother-in-law like that and make a fool of herself? She was trying to prove a point to her people that she had loyalty to them. Think about it. Behind the scenes, she was trying to let them know I love you guys. I had to throw you under the bus, but I messed with you. That's why I'm on Nasty Nate's live going off on my brother-in-law. She thinks she's slick, but you felt like you had to make something up to them because you did them so dirty the day before. And guess what? They fell for the bait, just like always. Why are you still defending her, going so hard for her when she could care less about you? She said that. She said, say your name. Shout out who you are if you're the one doing all this alleged bullying and making all these pages and all these accusations. Speak up for yourself because it's not me and I'm not going down for you. And that's your leader. That's the one you want to follow. That's the movement that you're pushing. But at the end of the day, what type of positivity comes out of that? What are we getting from Miss Lyonia that you guys want to keep encouraging her to do it? Let me run it down to you real quick. We have a woman who went into a marriage with a motive. She had three beautiful, amazing children before that. She didn't have much content to create. She wasn't very powerful like her husband was. So she came into this marriage not only with a motive, but with an agenda, not to mention with anger towards her ex. So she would bash him, throw him under the bus, not to mention, hmm, now I need something else to speak on. So then she goes in on her who? Her sister's husband. She throws him under the bus with these alleged accusations. Not to mention, we had someone come on the live that was around her during her high school years. And they claimed, allegedly, that she messed with a football player and she claimed the same 
if not close to those accusations, and he had to sit out a game because of her. And no, he doesn't want to come for it. That's a part of his past. But she claimed these same accusations that she claimed towards her sister's husband. So you mean to tell me you went through all these traumatic things from your first child's father to your sister's husband to this football player, and you didn't think you needed therapy? You didn't seek out special a specialist? Wow. So now you come into this marriage with a motive. You try to do everything he does. You try to emulate it, but there's only one, the original. And then you work on yourself. You get things fixed about you that you do not like. You try to change who you were and where you came from. But your past will always be there. You can't erase that or pay that off. So then you start to get a following. You start to get more money because your husband's page secretly deleted itself. So now you all of a sudden bring in the income, bring in all the money. Now you have so much to say. You're going even harder on him, making him feel like less of a man. And you're constantly antagonizing him. You don't want him to do videos, follow his dream, be the best version of himself. You're not building him up. You're filling yourself. So then you learn a little bit more about what he's doing. So you can do it on your own. And you felt like you didn't need him anymore. You were Miss Lyonya. The big one, not the little. And you didn't expect this man to walk away because you knew he wanted a family so bad. And most importantly, he wanted that with you. You knew he loved you. And as much as he loved you, he encouraged you to be a better version of yourself, to be a better mother, a better wife, to actually enjoy creating a content for people. But behind the scenes, you were lazy. You were lacking, allegedly. You didn't want to do these things. You wanted to do it your way. You was tired of dressing like a wife, pretending to be that role for so long. And like I stated, you felt like you were a DV victim because you were something that you, were, you had to be something that you really wasn't for all these years. You had to pretend you had to put on this mask. So now he finally stood up for himself and walked away from you. And that's when you became bitter and hateful, allegedly, and upset. Because you never expected in a million years this man who cared about his platform, this man who was a content creator who actually took this serious, will walk away. Because you knew he didn't want to tarnish his image. You knew he didn't want to go back and forth with you and people find out. You knew all this and you used it against him. When he finally got fed up and said enough is enough, that's when those fireworks happened. That's when you were on a rampage. You were bitter. You were angry. You were upset. You want to make him pay for walking away from you. For not tolerating you trying to dominate and be the man. At the end of the day, like I stated, and like I always say, justice will prevail. God sits high and he sees all. And he does not like ugly. And all these things you think that you're getting away with, that your people are working on behind the scenes, when you're trying to continue to antagonize content creators for putting things out and having no opinion, when you're doing even worse to them, not to mention to your ex-husband to slander him, you guys are working overtime. And the reasoning behind you doing it because you know you fumbled a great guy. You fumbled a bag. You know that because you have nothing to put out. Eventually, people are going to stop watching you because you're boring. You're not positive. You're not uplifting. You're a flip-flopper. You're a fraud. And he's the real version. So you don't want anyone else to have something that you know you had and you messed up and you can never get it back. So you're working overtime. So no woman sees the great quality in him that you see. The love and the care, the nurturing that he wanted, that you should have provided for him, that you're giving to someone else. You don't want someone else to do that for him. You don't want him to be happy. I am Ashley D., Please leave your opinion down below. Once again, thanks to you all out there. I wish you all a wonderful, happy weekend. 
Take care. I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye for now.